Lee? Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. That's what I figured. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? I don't remember them very well. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Now. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones. God bless you all. Go have a look around outside. 
Let's have a look around. Okay. I can tell him all the care of it. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. store employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doc. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. A lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. That place is full of TVs and electronics. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I can't reach that brick. I can't reach that brick. Those things like TV. Or at least the sound of it. If they were louder, we might be able to clear the street. He does tech stuff, and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months, and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh. Friends? Family? They around? Family. But it doesn't seem like it.
Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. I can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Not now. All right. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. It's a combination lock. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice, you know? <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. I can't reach that brick. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. We proved that that guy worked here, and then we can try to clear the street to search him for the keys. Yeah, probably easier said than done. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. It's doing what locks do. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad? That didn't help. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. 
We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I'm gonna get back to him now. There's no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Central High Take State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay. It's all melted now. How are we doing? Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Better get back to getting this guy's medicine. Hmm. Take your time.
that's what I figured. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in the air, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. Over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. There's 
one back there, trying to get into a room. Drew some attention. Be careful. I'm done trying to punch out window. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. Myself, even if I had a weapon. They really want to get into that room. They really want to get into that room. one by the car without attracting the others. Trying to shoot that guy from here is probably a bad idea, huh? How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Their groaning attracts the others. The moment we head towards that car, he's going to unleash enough noise to totally screw us. Their groaning attracts the others. Done trying to punch out windows. 
think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. I'm done trying to punch out windows. smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. We should keep looking around for weapons. gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. What are you gonna do with that? 
Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. That one sitting down is just as dangerous as the others. I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. Find a way to kill that guy before he alerts the others, okay? He's not going anywhere. Get out your gun. But the noise! Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick! See the spark plug. The person inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. behind you.
Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know, that was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Oh, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! You... Get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of water. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. for the lock on the gate outside. Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. 
you're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. Try to get some rest. Huh. Yeah, right. Hey, Carling. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. All right, then. We don't need to talk about it. Thanks. There's nothing I can do now, anyway. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. I can't reach that brick. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this.
There we go. Holy crap! Run! <laughs> Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry.
I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe. But I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Hey, Ken. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. But I really liked her. I'm sorry, Doug. It's okay. Thanks, though. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I guess it doesn't matter. I just wish you would have picked her. And then this one time, this mini gun on her shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought that super dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. It's just a walkie-talkie. It probably wasn't much use to begin with. 
It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Not really. Good. Stay away from her. Where everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. You hear me? I ask you a question, boy. And again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers and they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fuck with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, whenever I thought Kenny's kick was bit, you went out of your way to side against him! This isn't happening! No more, please! Lee, please! Uh. <laughs>